going to get to hit you back to, to night flights, but going backwards. Um, so Bowie, um, he, when he was starting off in his career before he was the, before he was Ziggy Stardust, uh, Thin White Duke and all that, um, way back, uh, he was, um, when he was just getting, he was just uh, developing himself. He had uh, started dating this slightly older musician named Leslie Duncan. And Leslie, uh, she is um, one of the singers on Dark Side of the Moon, uh, on Pink Floyd's Dark Side of the Moon, the uh, Great Gig in the Sky, that kind of orgasmic, uh, those women singing in, in chorus. Um, and she also wrote um, some she wrote a song with a, or wrote a song for uh, Elton John, and so she was a she was a she had stage fright, so she never really fully pushed herself, um, and she she kind of retired and got married and was a gardener later on. But before she met before she met Bowie, she was um, she co-written a song or two with uh, Scott Walker, and they were lovers for a period of time. And oh, wow. they broke. They broke up. I, I don't know if they broke up or they just sort of drifted, but they were on good terms. And she had a great affection for his music. And this is, uh, I think, after several albums of Scott's solo work post uh, Walker Brothers, and she would play this stuff all the time. And she's dating this guy who's a little younger than her, David Bowie, and she would just play his, Scott's music all the time and said, you need to up your game. You're good, but, you know, you really need, listen to this guy. Right, and, right. And just... uh, and he and also the, the Jacques Brel covers that were just so, in, he would just, the, the command he had, the, 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 the incredible baritone Scott had, the, the, the passion she, he had in his voice, in, in, his, in his singing, um, and then his own songwriting quality. And she says, like, you, you need to really up your game. This right, is right. what it's at. And it pissed Bowie off. He's just like, you know, romantic. Sure. And he's also, you know, uh, competitive. And he's like, what the hell is this guy? And then he realized, God damn it, he's really good. Right. He's really, really good. And he just, just fell in love with his music. And he, he, he said he became his idol. 